Okay, today we're going to take a look at uh, Ryan, a javelin thrower. He's thrown just over 182 feet. So uh, I want to start here in the uh, basically the power position. Compare him to the uh, on the right here to uh, Thorkelson, one of my favorite videos. And I've got this yellow line along the javelin. So let's take a look at Thorkelson as he. Uh, goes through with the throw. You see how the javelin follows that line? Camera's moving forward a little bit, but you can see that it's uh, the tail. Every The tail's not crossing the line, so he's not pulling down on it, and it's just going straight up into the, uh, the throwing direction. Okay, now let's take a look at uh, Ryan here. For comparison, okay. See how the uh, tail is coming below the, the yellow line now, and the uh, tip is going above it. You can really see it here. You see how the uh, it's starting to move horizontally in, in that, uh, rather than straight along that line. Here, I'll, I'm going to show you what the yellow line, what it's kind of doing. It's it's almost like going this way, rather than moving straight up. Okay, so you want to not pull down. A lot of times I'll see that happen as uh, you pronate your hand right as you release it. You can see the bend in the javelin here. See how it's bowed right here? That's a lot of force um, throwing it uh, not along the shaft but down. You can see how it bends there and then it's going to bend upward. And Okay, all right. So let me get rid of those lines. The other thing is, as you uh, finish, I see your. Even from this view, you can see you're leaning way to the left, and when you finish here, you can see your feet are facing to uh, down the left way uh, side there. And uh, comparing that with Thorkelson, you can see how he finishes forward. He steps forward, both feet are pointing forward he actually walks off the track forward okay you want to create on your left and right side kind of uh, barriers where you don't lean too far outside you want them about shoulder width hip width apart and you want to try to stay within that uh, like that alleyway that channel don't fall to your left okay let's go back to the beginning here I'm gonna start uh, both of you back here. This is where Thorkelson's video starts, so I'm going to start you about the same place. So here you've got the uh, left leg. You've pushed up, or pulled back. The upper bodies. I mean, everything's very similar here. Okay. Now as you come along here, and you land at that right, right there, you can see how far back your hip is from that uh, foot, or how far uh, in front of you that foot is. Um, just like if you're sprinting, you don't want to do that. You want to have that foot land under your center of mass. Because when you do this, you're breaking, you're stopping yourself. Let's take a look at Thorkelson. He lands on the right. Okay, you see how it's right under his hip? Right there. Okay, foot lands under the hip. And he lands. 90 degrees, I prefer to land 45, kind of like you're doing there, okay? So you want to try to not cast that leg out. If you're a sprinter, you would call that casting out with your foot way ahead of the knee, okay? You want to land with it right there. So the foot's under the knee, under the hip. Let's move on to the next one. So now you should be pushing back you can't right here because you're pulling this is the action that the left leg should be doing is pulling back because it's ahead of you okay but you're uh, you can't push until right here see at this point where the uh, hip is on top of the foot now you can push backward let's watch Thorkelson from this position here you can see he's starting to push back immediately with that right leg see and he fully extends it and pushes it back driving him forward and right here you can see you don't fully extend that right leg, so you don't get a good push off from it. Okay, 
you're just kind of pulling it forward. So you want to drive down here. Um, you were kind of stuttering and you were kind of slowing down on your run-up, the last uh, the crucial uh, strides here, so where you want to be accelerating, not slowing down, okay? And that's the, the reason. Okay, and so now you're reaching. You're going to reach for that uh, left foot ahead of you, but then you stop again. See, you create almost like a long jump or a braking action there. So it's it's ahead of you, and that's okay because you're going to pull it. But you're you're uh, you're actually uh, stopping here. Let's take a look at Thorkelson. Now, what you see is before his left foot even lands, he's pulling it. The motion. He's already starting the motion of pulling it back. My Canovia doesn't like me doing this. Okay, let's watch. The foot's starting to move back down the runway. See, right there, before it even lands. Okay, and then he continues that pulling action. Pull with the left, push with the right. Okay, now you see that nice extension that he has with the left there. It's right there. Okay, you see how he leads and sweeps with the right but he keeps the foot almost underneath the knee. You see how yours is way out in front? And there's the brake again. You hip way behind the right. Let's watch Thorkelson here as he lands. Now he turns his feet to 45. Now it's very important what he's doing here as he lands on the right. He's got the hip pretty close so he can move quickly, but he's got that left foot ahead. You see where your left foot is? It's way back here. So when you, that time in the air is when you want to get that left to left. The left foot off the ground and back to the left foot in front again, way ahead before that right foot lands. It should be right about here before the left, or uh, before the right foot lands, the left should be, foot should be about here, okay? Just in front. The farther you can get it in front, the better, because then it'll land faster. Okay, so you can see you're, you're pretty far lean back here. Okay, so the next thing is you want to drop that right knee as fast as you can. You don't want to be pushing or extending like you were down the runway. You want to just relax, just very, uh, just drop it, get it down to horizontal, get the heel up, right into the left foot plant. You can see how uh, vertical his right thigh is right here, okay? He's just thinking about dropping that knee, and he's not trying to push. He's just trying to get that left foot down, okay? You see the knee's down, the heel's up, foot's pointing toward the throwing direction. But what you're doing is you're trying to extend. This is very common. You're trying to extend as long as you can and, and drive forward. You don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. You want to just uh, let it, the knee fall, Keep the foot turning. Your foot uh, is still sideways here. That's going to help you drive that right hip forward. See? That's what pulls and creates a stretch across your uh, your body from your right hip to the uh, to the uh, javelin hand. Okay, so now we've got the left foot planted right about there. Okay. At this point, you want to have the most distance as you can get from this uh, right, or I'm sorry, the left foot. To the right hand so you've got to have that hand back you can see how thorkelson's got his hand and his arm long and he's got his foot down here so he's got the maximum distance between these two points okay so so he can pull the longest distance he, that he can you look really good you're uh you arrive in this position just like he does you've got the armpit up right to the throwing direction looks good you see how he rolled his foot over? I know it ruined shoes. I've done it myself. But he uh, he's dragging. He's trying to keep that knee down. He's keeping that foot as close to the ground as he can as it slides forward. He's driving that hip forward past the uh, the right hip, past the left hip. Okay. But uh, yeah, you've got a really good stretch here. Looks good. 
on the uh, right. That's probably uh, one of the main reasons you're going to throw so, uh, so far. Okay. That's about all I had. If you uh, have any questions, uh, want to send another video, uh, if you make any changes, uh, let me know. Otherwise, uh, hope everyone uh, likes and subscribes to my YouTube channel. And uh, we'll keep making videos. Thanks.